another way to add a bit of spice to your outerwear as a student in autumn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London-based content creator. In this video, I'm going to be talking autumn staples. This video was inspired by a conversation I had with a friend on Instagram DMs. And she was like, yeah, that she needs some inspiration for her autumn and winter wardrobe when she's coming back to school. So it'd be lovely if I do a video for her. So Igo Iduma, this video is right for you. On this video, guys, I'm going to be mentioning autumn staples. <laughs> As I said, telling you the important ones to me, how I wear them, how I think you should style them, and then a bit of tips on controlling your wardrobe your budget when spending on seasonal items and trends. Let's go to the first one. I would say a trench coat or a cardigan. You know those cardigans that are long getting to the knee. Let me just bring one of mine. This is my trench coat. I've had this trench coat for since when I was living in Collingdale. That should be about four years ago and even beyond. Yes, I've had it for a long time now and it's something that still looks very beautiful, very cute. Obviously it's Burberry so there was a bit of spending in it but whenever it's autumn um, season I get to use it. Use it until I can't use it anymore more because it's now winter which is cold as I go to my winter jacket send this immediately to the dry cleaner and then yeah keep it for the next season so obviously it's still in this bag now because I haven't really gone out in this autumn season not everyone will obviously want to spend so much on a trench coat so you could always get the high street ones or even a cardigan this cardigan for example is burgundy obviously the color I love to wear in fall and then it's from Nasty Girl every item I'm going to mention here there will be a link in the description box something like this is very 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 good piece that can replace your trench coat if you layer it properly autumn is all about layering and but sometimes you're just on the move and you want to wear just something quickly and I'll obviously show you items you can wear like that but a trench coat and a cardigan like this are great staples you should have in your wardrobe for autumn. Well, I've told you to get a trench or get a cardigan. Another kind of outerwear you can have is the bomber jacket. Something like this. <laughs> So this bomber jacket is actually Zara Man. I obtained this from my boo and because um, it wasn't his size anymore but I'm so excited about it because it fits so beautifully. This hoodie was actually sent to me by a Nigerian brand some two years ago and I've had it for a minute. I love the way it's so thick. Like it came as a suit, a tracksuit but I just prefer the hoodie on its own. I love to wear it a lot. So wearing something like this on a day that is really cold you can layer this up with your leather jacket over it or your cardigan over it and you're good to go. Hoodies and bomber jackets are not that way. So I of spice to your outerwear as a student in autumn. Next on my list I'll be talking shoes. For shoes in autumn I really love my DMs. I've had this for a, the longest time as well probably another four or five years. I wear them ruggedly like they are so strong. You use this <laughs> these shoes for the longest time. I think I got them for like 80 pounds or something when I was just done with my masters and guys this thing has solved so many problems. They are very chunky but so comfortable. So it's something that transcends from autumn to winter. I love these boots. If you can afford to buy original DMs you should get them. If not you can also get Chelsea boots. They are Chelsea boots I have from New Look. They are so good looking. Lovely croc skin. Beautiful. They, they look so stylish and they last very long. Another pair of shoes I'll say are great for autumn are boots. Boots like this can come in very handy when you don't want to wear tights with outfits and stuff like that. So just any regular boots. These ones were from Russell and Bromley. It was a gift um, given to me I think two years ago. And I've been using it and loving it, loving it, loving it. So boots that are about maybe your knee or half of your calf and stuff like that are really great. Over the knee boots too. So chic. If you can get those, especially flat ones, you would love them for your autumn styling. Another obvious pair of shoes you would need are sneakers. These sneakers are Zara. I actually got these from eBay for enough about three years ago and I just love them because they have this handwritten print on it. People always think I was when I wrote them but they're just simple sneakers I could always put in your feet and hop up to school. Yeah so sneakers are a very very good um, pair of shoes to have in the season. Last but not the least if you want to go a bit more stylish I would say loafers. This pair of loafers I got from TK Maxx for about maybe £23. To be honest I've actually put this in on eBay because I haven't got seen them that much wear from them. It was actually a 7. I'm actually an 8. So that was the main reason I put it on eBay. So it's on eBay right now. It would probably be sold really soon but loafers like this that you don't have to go to price. You go to places like TK Maxx if you want to get quality stuff so you don't start buying things that you have to change you know at every moment so next on my list will be midi skirts and midi dresses if you had watched my videos in summer when i did the ebay thing and some other videos 
I was really stocking up on midi dresses. Midi dresses are amazing because in summer they're just very lovely to wear. So you look chic, you don't look too exposed. So it depends on the fabric, obviously. It, you, there's a lot of air going through it. And then they are very amazing for moving into autumn. With midi dresses and midi skirts, you can even put a jumper over the dress and it looks like a skirt. So obviously, if you're having that kind of look, a midi skirt is also very important. My one of my uniforms for autumn every season, I'm gonna put a picture. Uh midi skirt and a jumper over it or midi dresses and a jumper over it that just gives just gives that beautiful look you can wear them with dms you can wear them with your knee boots this is an example of a midi skirt i got this from ebay if you watch my ebay haul it is a zara skirt it was brand new i haven't worn it anywhere since i got it to be honest apart from video i've done for you guys i just left the tag on it just so i remember that yeah you got it brand new from ebay it's pleated and then gorgeous it has layers to it there's some simple like when i did my unusual colors that work together video skirts like that simple plain skirt turtle neck top wear your boots guys you're ready for autumn wear your um jumper you're ready for autumn wear your chunkini turtle you're ready for autumn so styling pieces like this with midi dresses you don't need to wear tight because you're already long enough and then it's obviously autumn on the good days of autumn you can easily wear this your jacket grab your bag wear your boots go off to school <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the next item on my list would be chunky knit. So knitwear, aka jumpers or um, I don't know, some call it sweater, sweatshirt, like these are a very great piece to have in autumn. This is a piece by Femlox, one of the pieces I used to do their blog posts and stuff. So you can see it still has it because most of these things I tend to sell them. I have other where I have a mustard one, I have like this one I'm wearing now, I have another one in this area because this is my favorite color ever. So I have a couple other ones. So this one is in my eBay shop right now. See how lovely it is. I've used it to make videos and styling. I always just mention that on the eBay. And yeah, it's chunky. Sometimes you don't have to wear anything under. When it now starts getting to winter, you can start wearing your thermals or even just layering with a shirt. When I styled this one for the items I was sent by HGTC, I wore a shirt under one of them. If I have a picture, in fact, I should have a picture, I'll put it up there. So chunky knits are just, they, they are very effortless. You can see the sleeves, how long they are. You can just fold them up if it's getting a bit um, hot or stocky where you are and then you can just wear them with your jeans you can wear them with skirts you can wear them with dresses as i showed you and i would advise you get about three um pieces of them in various colors just so that you can always utilize them in various ways next on my list is leather leather jackets precisely so for leather jackets i would advise a biker jacket because there's just this smart fast and this chic look leather jacket gives your outfit. I'll be showing you this jacket. It's a leather jacket, but it's not a biker one. It's just, I don't know what's called, maybe old man's jacket or something. It's just really simple. I'm, I'm very happy because I got this from a thrift store in Aylesbury when I was there, I think. And yeah, it's just brown and the leather is just nice. It just looks chic. It looks expensive. What's the brand? Kuzu. So it's one of all these vintage pieces. You don't really know who the designer is, but it's a lovely, lovely jacket. I wear this easily with like slim jeans. Or sometimes I even button it up and they wear it with like a skirt and then it's like the top. But I advise you get a biker jacket because biker jackets are a bit more versatile and they have this, as I said, rugged and chic with, um, look about them. For accessories, I would say a practical bag. When I say practical bag, I mean like a messenger bag, a backpack or a waist pouch. Over here, I'm just going to show you one waist pouch. Just in case you're interested in having some prints, maybe you're wearing tan or like so much black and you want to have some prints in your look you can invest in this bag it's just 20 pounds from i mean i'm going to put all the links as i said and there is a lovely um pouch you can put it on your waist obviously like this way or over across here just stretch this extra thing and then you're able to wear it across you and then just be on the go it carries a lot it has a lot of room so you can carry every important thing you have probably not be able to carry your books if the book is like really big or if it's a small notepad you can carry it so yeah um bags that wouldn't be in your way like all oh, these unnecessary handbags yeah just leave those ones especially as you're in school practical bags like this or a backpack or a messenger bag are just perfect and this can work as a waist pouch and a messenger bag as well because it goes across this if you stretch the extra stuff. okay so these are the important staples i think you should have in your wardrobe and i'm just going to list a few things that you know you can just use to add some spice to your wardrobe or just to be a bit trendy so now we'll be talking about things like fabric or textures uh, the first fabric i'll be saying is animal prints animal prints is a very good um, and easy versatile to style 
kind of fabric so if you want to include a bit of that when i showed you the midi dress obviously that was animal prints this is um leopard prints i showed you this in when i was talking about how you should have midi dresses and midi skirts these pants they're actually by a nigerian designer which is going to be listed when i do my nigerian designer haul nurania studios and he also came with a mask you're just going to be staying safe stylishly when it comes to animal print it doesn't have to be your outfit it can be your bag it can be your belt it can be your footwear talking about textures one i'll mention is tweed tweed is really really great and there's something um i don't know expensive about having a tweed piece in your wardrobe i have this tweed jacket i got this from ebay guys ebay actually has good stuff as i always tell you so i got this from ebay for about 25 pounds or 23 pounds i remember just having a bit with the seller and eventually it came to me for 23 pounds so it's by oh it's nice tailoring actually but it's really pretty guys like when you wear this you just you just look you just look expensive you look so expensive and you can obviously wear it with um, jeans if you want to tone it down a bit or wear it with a corporate skirt you can wear it with long trousers let's say you have a presentation at school and stuff this is an absolute um, buy or absolute wear when in autumn because you don't need to layer too much probably just wear a little vest I will show you it's really thick it's tweed, it looks expensive, and yeah, it's just beautiful. So consider tweed. Tweed could also come in the form of a skirt. There are some knee skirts that look so gorgeous, and they are tweed fabric. There are also some dresses. Sometimes they, they mix um, different fabric or different textures together, but there's a bit of tweed in it. It makes you look really moneyed up. Last but not the least, I'll be talking about scarves and barriers. So you could always have chunky scarves or light scarves, depends on how the weather is. But in autumn, wearing scarves, just adding a scarf to your outfit. Let's say you're wearing a t-shirt, jeans, you're wearing one of these shoes, let's say DMs, and then you just put a scarf on your neck. Just look really pretty, just covering that neck because there's something about cold getting to your neck. So imagine covering your neck in such a stylish way. If you want something a bit chunkier, then it just goes round you so wearing scarves is another video i've done i'll put it here just so you see when while you're watching scarves are something that lifts your look up when you, on a day you just want to look simple but at the same time let it be that yes you know what you're doing just done on a scarf barriers come in so handy especially for people like me that have a low cut when you just wear a barrier add it to your look it just gives you a different vibe you can wear your barriers in different ways according to how it suits your face just go in front of a mirror try your barriers in different ways see the one which suits you you might even be a barrier you can also wear a baker hat I think I got this from either, Ama either eBay, Amazon, or ASOS. Yeah, I got this a while ago. Baker's Hat also gives you like this stylish, you know, vibe. <laughs> Things like this are just little, little ways to accessorize and make your look go from like 5 to a 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends just so that they are guided. And I hope it has kind of inspired your wardrobe this season. Stay stylish, stay beautiful. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bum bum when I'm